welcome back. Good morning, YouTube. It is so wonderful to be back with you. I am in school today to start preparing my classroom. It is the last Friday before we start school. We start school next Friday, but that's just for teacher in-service. And then we have a long weekend because of Labor Day weekend. We come back with the in-service on Tuesday, and then the students come on Wednesday. Today, I want to accomplish two things. Number one, there have been some changes in my classroom, so I have to account for those changes. I'll show you what that is in a moment. Um, but over the year, you probably noticed that this back wall behind me is completely blank. So my goal today is to start preparing that back wall. And then um, I want to like basically put like a big quote up there and I'll put some other things up there. But today my goal is to just start getting the quote up there. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that today. And then for the change to my classroom, I actually now have a, I'll turn this way, a whiteboard. So I am so excited to finally have a whiteboard in my classroom. I wanted a blackboard on this side because I actually used the blackboard for a demo. Um, they would have absolutely given me two whiteboards, but I did not want it. But the reason why I need the whiteboard is because we have these amazing new projectors. I don't know if you can see it, where I can actually write on the whiteboard using the projector. So I haven't even like dug into that technology yet, but I'm really excited to try it out. I think it's going to be a wonderful tool. Plus now notice like in the ceiling, I really don't have like that, you know, long projector hanging down. So it does look a lot nicer. So for right now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start preparing the space near the whiteboard. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that I had to actually remove some of those roses that I put up last year. So here, let me show you what it looks like. So right now, this is what I'm working with. They didn't have to touch anything over here, but over here, they had to take some of the roses off. You can see it's kind of ripped off. And to be honest, I didn't really use this as much as I thought I would. I kind of thought I would be using this as like a roses and thorns type of thinking strategy but I didn't end up using it all year so I said you know what I, this it really isn't you know serving its purpose so instead what I think I'm going to do is a totally different theme in the front but I'm still going to use some of these roses in the back of my classroom up on that wall there but that will probably be another video so this is most likely going to be part one of probably two or three videos because I do have a lot to do but I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on getting this stuff off the wall nice and clean so that I can prepare it for next week when I come back in and work on this part of the classroom. smoothly than I thought. Um, I borrowed a heat gun from one of my colleagues and it worked pretty well. Um, I was able to save some of the things that I made. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them because um, some of them definitely got a little uh, little hot from the heat gun, but I think generally speaking, I'm pretty happy. You know, I was worried about the paint coming off as I was scraping, but I think the heat gun was a really great option. So anybody out there that uses hot glue on their cinder block walls, Get yourself a blow dryer or a heat gun. You'll be able to remove that very easily. All right, on to the next task, which is to start laying out my quote for the back of the classroom. So let's do it. My quote. One day you will look back and see that all along you were blooming. And this is by Morgan Harper Nichols. And if anybody um, follows her on Instagram, she is just an amazing woman that has tremendous courage. Um, she's a black um, woman with autism and she shares and communicates with her art. And uh, I think this is a really profound message for students um, in that, you know, when you have difficulties 
And when you go through those hard times, there's beauty that comes from it. And so I'm so excited to put this on my wall right up there. Um, and as you can imagine, the flowers that I took off from the front of the wall, I am going to decorate with this. But this is by far the longest quote I've ever added. <laughs> so I'm scared. I hope I don't mess this up. But if I do, at least I know I can remove it very easily now. So here we go. wondering what I'm doing trying to get this nice and straight I'm using this I got this right from Dollar Tree that's in fact actually where I got a lot of my tools that I use in my classroom they have screwdrivers and levels and even tape measures dust pans so I just have like a whole drawer of like things that I can use to like fix stuff easy stuff in my class um, but what I did is I kind of cut the tape to be the length with which I think the letters are going to take up I hope um, and I tried to center it as close as possible to the middle. Um, so I think, although I don't know, see that doesn't look level. I'm gonna check to make sure that everything's level, but at least I kind of know where the quote is gonna end up. And like I said, this isn't gonna be the only thing I'm gonna put up there. I have lots of flowers that I've made that I'm gonna be like putting up here, but for right now, I just wanna get the quote up there because that's the thing that I'm honestly most nervous about because it's the biggest one I've done. But I'm gonna check to make sure that it is level and then hopefully I'll start gluing it. I did get a brand new hot glue gun. I'll show you what it is. I got it right from Amazon. This is the glue gun that I purchased from Amazon. Um, what I like so much about it is that it's high, high temp. Um, it uses full size glue sticks, but also it can be cordless. So I can use it and it won't like, you know, lose its heat very quickly. Um, so you have to do, you do have to put it on to the um, holder in order to kind of get it to heat up again. Um, but I think it says, let me see. Um, yeah, it says glue gun works cordless for up to two minutes. So I thought that would be perfect for me being able to you know, like use it and um, not have to get it to heat up again. So this is the one I'm gonna be using after I check the level. Well, I'm not doing so great with the technology today. My phone died, so I wasn't able to actually record me putting this up there, but for what it is, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back. It is on the smaller side, but I asked one of my colleagues what he thought, and he thought, you know what? It actually looks really good. You can still see it from you know the back here, so I think I'm gonna keep it. And like I said, the plan, next week is to put like flowers that I've made on either side. So I'm gonna put a lot of flowers along the side so it'll look nice and full, but it's just enough. It's just something there to remind students that, um, you know, even though it's a trying time in their lives, that there's a lot that they can learn from the process and grow. And um, when they look back on it, hopefully they'll think about fond memories of high school and. That chemistry teacher that always tried to send some really positive messages their way. At least that's my hope anyway. Time is now about 3.19. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, not too exhausted. I actually just made myself a cup of coffee. So the very last thing that I think I'm going to do, which I wasn't planning on doing, but because I still have some time and I'm feeling okay, I am going to um, work with my stools. So I have a whole bunch of stools over there. Um, finally, I actually have a class set for the entire lab area. Um, last year I won the Edward J. Merrill Award and I got some money to spend in my classroom. So I ordered some stools. So I'm very excited to finally put them out. I have a full class set, um, but the students often have to sit on them during testing days and it can be really uncomfortable for them. Um, so what I opted to do was also purchase some of these little cushions 
Um, these are just from Target. They were about $10 each, and I got a whole bunch of them, and I am going to attach them to all the different stools, and I think this will help the students feel a little bit more comfortable on test day, plus they're fun and they look nice, and then what's also really cool about them is the students can actually take them off, and you can, like, sit on them, so they, are, you know, if they're sitting on the floor to, like, maybe record a flip grid or something, um, they can sit on them, so I thought that would be a good thing. Now, to attach them, I am going to use Velcro. They're actually velcro circles um hopefully this works i don't i wasn't i don't want to hot glue it like i said i want the students to be able to take them off if they need to so we'll try it out and see how it goes <music> for a day's work I mean it's four o'clock right now um, so I definitely am running out of steam at this point I'm pretty tired so I think this is a good place to leave off here um, really happy with the way the front turned out so that's prepped and ready to go when I come in next week I can start decorating that I'll show you what I'll do up there but that'll be next week sometime um, behind me I'm glad you know the quote is done I think it looks really good and then of course I did my little seat cushions which I think look awesome um, if you're wondering what I attached them with I got these little velcro things from Amazon they're like little discs they're pretty sturdy um, they're pretty hard to take apart so um, I like the fact that I think this the um, cushions will stay on very easily with using these and it just has adhesive on either side so that's what I'm using to attach it um, you'll notice that the cushions have this little like um, like handle thing which is kind of cute um, but like I thought it would bother me but it really doesn't bother me like I said I was thinking the kids could you know sit on the floor if they needed to I'm actually sitting on a cushion right now it's very comfortable um, I like it a lot and I think the kids will feel a lot more comfortable when they take their assessments and they have to spread out. Um, I also was concerned that I wouldn't be able to stack the stools, but fortunately I can still stack them. So here's the yellow one. I can stack the pink one right on top. So it still t stacks, which is good because usually when we have lab, um, I will take the stools and um, you know put them on the side so the students aren't tempted to sit during lab. So yeah, so all in all, I think it was a very successful day. But for right now, I'm gonna leave this right here. I will, of course, check in with you next week where hopefully I will finish decorating my classroom. Like I said, next Friday is the first day of school without students, it's an in-service day. So I do have a pretty good chunk of time, but I do have some other stuff I'm doing next week. So yeah, so with that said, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to spending more time with you this year. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll be sure to check in with you guys next week. Bye.